Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is just after I did my AEW, uh, uh, fucking Cody Rose not making AEW for casuals, shit, whatever the fuck, or says that he won't care to, uh, AEW won't ca care to casuals video. Uh, this is, I decided you wanted to meet, this, this is gonna be a quick video anyway, kind of. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about AEW. This is my overall thoughts on AEW. Uh, because, like, I, I know I didn't get to talk about this. I didn't get to talk about AEW of my entire thoughts about it, of it being a thing, it being a company, and, and all this stuff. You know, I might as well just do it now, because I, I actually did make the, like, kind of like a list of, of my thoughts about it so far, or like a, like a month ago, or two months ago, and stuff like that. And I might as well just talk about it for a little bit. So, you know, hey, grab your own wine glass, like, let's watch, you know, you know I'll watch and fucking listen. Stiff, all right, all right. Get your soul in the wine glass, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. Oh shit! Oh shit! Cheers, motherfuckers. You know, to keep it real, you know, you, you just drink your soul in the wine glass. You just talking shit. It's keeping it real, man. This is my fucking driving fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Making wanna fuck bitches, big black guys, make them go. Oh shit! Oh shit! I don't know a lot about. I don't know if, about fucking hey, double asses will do that shit, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways. So my thoughts on AEW, you know, overall I do think comp competition is a good thing. It's honestly what fucking WWE needs. But you know, the the thing is, like honestly, be honest with you about AEW. I don't think it's be that big of a competition. Even when you know when you got fucking people in the wrestling world are saying like it's not gonna be competition, then you know that's like that's not really much of a good thing. You know, like uh, you know it's not gonna be a big threat and like whatever. But it doesn't help when also when you got all these fucking smarts, you know. Smarts are people. Smarts are saying that oh, it's gonna be competition. It's gonna be all this shit. You know, it's gonna be fucking taking over WWE. I can't wait to watch AEW. Cause like that's the smartiest thing to do. Like that's gonna be the. Cause they like, don't. They like to jump on the bandwagon and like oh, what's new and fresh and shit. They like to jump on the bandwagon. Cause that's what fucking smarts do anyways. You know, that's the smartiest thing to do. And it doesn't help with the fact that yeah, unfortunately, it looks like it's not gonna be a true alternative when you're gonna when fucking. Well, I just fucking said it right now, fucking AEW, for God's sakes. Cody Rhodes just says that it's not going to be a fucking, ult it's not going to be a fucking goddamn, like, it's not going to be, a, like, fucking, for, fucking casuals, like, for the casual viewers, you know? And again, without the casual viewers, without fucking caring to casuals, like, if you fuck, uh, how the hell are you going to fucking have people watch, you know? Like, how the hell are you going to be an alternative? If anything, this won't be, like, it won't be, like, anything close to the D. You know, people want to think, oh, it's be like the next big thing face to be. It's going to be the new one Monday now. Even though it's not going to be him on Mondays and whatever the fuck. It's going to be the new uh, WCW versus WWE. But it's in reality, it's not. It really isn't. It's fucking goddamn. It's. If you think about it, it's literally going to be kind of like just like fucking. What makes fucking AEW really different than fucking TNA and shit? If you think about it. AEW is, is is either the same or if not more of the same shit as WWE. Because, think about it. All the wrestlers you see now are all these fucking indie guys, no-name fucking jobbers, who do nothing but kicks and flips and bullshit. Trying to have fucking five, fucking pursuit of five-star matches by Dave Metzler and shit. The care of Dave Metzler and crap, you know? They fucking like the fucking, like, you know, all fucking super kicks, you know, all this shit, fucking stupid spots, like two so pile drivers shit, whatever the fuck, what, all this shit, you know? Random moves for no reason, and plus, like, all, like, stupid moves for no reason, and, like, oh, a bunch of flipsy, flips, kicks, and crap. No actual wrestling moves, no actual fucking storytelling. And plus, it doesn't help with the fact that, like, if you, like, oh, wrestling should be, like, first of all, Wrestling isn't supposed to be about wrestling. Professional wrestling. Oh, it's so supposed to be like. But that's because you guys watch sports and tape. That's, that's sports and tape. WWE. Motherfuckers. Pro wrestling is sports entertainment. It's not real. It's not fucking supposed to be real. It's supposed to be fake and scripted. Oh, it's scripted. It's not, it's not fake and scripted. It's the same shit. You're saying this. Same shit. You're contradicting yourselves. It's not supposed to be like a fucking sport. It's supposed to be like a TV show. Wrestling, like it or not, WWE and fucking professional wrestling is supposed to be like a TV show when you're on fucking television. It's supposed to be fucking entertainment. It's not supposed to be fucking goddamn a fucking real sport. It's supposed to be, it's sports entertainment because it's like, it's an aspect from a sport. 
wrestling, but you make it entertaining, entertaining with fucking characters, storylines, and fucking god, you mean a, you know, everything will make fucking wrestling great back in the day. It's not supposed to be fucking real. It's not supposed to be fucking goddamn two oil up fucking midgets fucking rolling around, with, uh, round, rolling around with each other for 45 fucking minutes. That's not cool. That's boring and no one fucking is going to care. Unfortunately, that's what's going on with WWE now. But if you think about it, that's what's going to happen with AEW. AEW is really more of the same shit where you're going to have fucking goddamn all these fucking midget fucking, not just midgets, but for God's sake, like it's just indie wrestlers or just fucking no name jobs at all that look don't look like wrestlers at all, have no fucking characters. No storylines are going to fucking probably happen. It's not actual fucking good storylines. No fucking actual fucking storytelling. Plus, like, the wrestlers don't... Yeah, don't, no badasses. No fucking goddamn cool fucking wrestlers. No actual fucking, you know, actual good storylines and shit. And actual fucking good wrestling. If you want actual good wrestling, it's supposed to be, not, it's supposed to be a variety of moves. It's not supposed to be just all about kicks and flips and shit. What happened to happen to wrestlers actually doing wrestling moves? You know? But that should be the least important thing. Because for God's sakes, what should matter more first, if you're going to want to care about the matches, how the fuck are you going to care about the matches without any good characters and shit? You know? You need the whole aspect to actually care. And plus the build up too, you know? Build up to the matches. Um. Anyways, what was I was going to say. Uh. I want to fucking say this shit too. But yeah, basically, like, that's why I have to really say. If you think about it, and plus it doesn't help with AEW. You're going to have this old LGBT shit. You're gonna have fucking a bisexual dude. You're gonna have fucking a gay dude on run, you know, and also like fucking transgender shit. You're gonna have this whole fucking gay shit. That's not gonna make fucking wrestling good stuff, motherfuckers. That's not good stuff, man. I'm telling you. Like I think in order for them to succeed, if you want like to succeed, they need to they need to not just cater to the indie people. If in reality they have this indie indie mentality, even though yes they have the money. They have the financial backing, but if you reality, look at look at TNA. They had the financial backing at first. They had the money. They were on fucking goddamn Spike TV. That was big, big for them. What really is different? Yeah, they're on fucking TNT. That's a bigger channel, sure. But like for God's sakes, like, you know, in reality, TNA had the money. Also, they had the financial backing and shit. This has financial backing. So, but the thing is, you're gonna have this indie mentality. It seems like they're going to have this indie mentality just based on their fucking paper shows. What is really going to be fucking good, you know? And honestly, I think that it's, this is just a cool thing to do for fucking Sparks to pretend to care. Because for God's sake, like if we, in, real, in reality, it's literally more of the same shit like WWE. It's more of these indie people and shit, you know? Yes, WWE sucks, you know? And unfortunately, in uh, nowadays, like yeah, uh, how they fucking got their eyes is because of actual good, ca actual like casuals. They actually cared casuals, but now like they're losing their actual cap, they're losing their casual viewers. They're losing viewers that are longtime fans because they're catering to fucking smarky people. Unfortunately, and you know indie guys like fuck with all this shit, all the indie fans. That's what's unfortunately what already AEW is. They're already fucking you know have their fucking smarky fans, indie indie fans, wherever fuck you know. But that's it. How the hell they really could cater to casuals with these people, you know, or anything. Especially when they have that kind of sort of an indie mentality. Like how, especially when the fact that they're, not, they're saying they're not going to try to cater to casuals. How the hell are you going to fucking get viewers? How the hell are you going to get fucking, how the hell are you going to last, you know? That's the problem. Like that makes me fucking worried too, you know? Because like in a way, yeah, competition is good. We should have competition. But it's got to be good. I want a good alternative. This is not going to be a good alternative, you know? Um, yeah, but yeah, if they wanted to succeed, they, not, they better not have the fucking uh, indie mentality not be smarky. Like, sadly, that's kind of like they have that shit, you know? They have that indie mentality and, like, a lot of fucking indie wrestling tripe, you know? A lot of people like to pretend it's different for Fox News. Like, but if you really think about it, WWE, AEW, TNA, indies all are the same at the moment. And still, because like, they're filled with the same types of wrestlers with no characters, indie schmucks that they all do kicks flips and crap, you know, and that, and, and indie midget fucks, you know, this is this all it is, but, uh, you know, at least they're going to be kind of have stars, you know, but if, if, it, if you think about it, this is going to be no different than, T A W is going to be no, A W is going to be no different than TNA, fucking Ring of Honor, all these other, New Japan and shit, it's going to be that, and that's why wrestling sucks, it doesn't help with all these fucking wrestling fans too, they demand all these wrestlers to be in WWE, when they got guys like Finn Balor there, Shinsuke, and all these other wrestlers, you know, from the indies, 
They're still not happy. They're still saying WWE sucks. And guess what? And they're finally realizing fucking these guys suck, you know? Oh, it's not their fault. It's Roman Reigns, apparently. You're fucking uh, all these other wrestlers that are fucking not from the Indies, you know? I'm not saying, like, I'm a Reigns guy, but for God's sake, like, that's their argument. This fucking retarded. They need larger-life characters, people, with stories, personas, gimmicks, actual storylines, badass characters, cool baby faces, and heels. No gay shit, no indie mentality, no indie mint crap. I know this fucking women's revolution bullshit. I actually do have hot women that can wrestle and actually do hot shit. I mean, I guarantee you, they'll get ratings like that, you know? You got, like, bitches like Allie, you know, who's fucking cute as hell. I don't know who... Some other chicks, but you know, maybe you, you know, get some chicks. You got them, like, you know, look not just looking like, you know, uh, looking hot, like wrestling and shit, but do have them do hot shit. I'm telling you, you'll get your ratings, and I'm gonna make you wanna fuck them. A big black cat to make them go, oh shit, oh shit. You know, I'm, t I'm telling you, that's some good stuff. That's like fine wine, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, here's the thing. What I'm saying right now, it works for everything, you know, for all wrestling. Because that's the basis of wrestling that it should be, you know? Plus, the, uh, the, you know, the argument, oh, you're just complaining, it's an alternative, it rules, like, then it has to be a good alternative, ladies and gentlemen, it can't just be fucking, you know, it has to be a complete good alternative than just fucking dirty, like, how is it gonna be, like, how is it gonna be good if it's run by the Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes, you know, and, like, it has gay shit, like, for God's sakes, like, sure, they got money, that's it, you know, if anything, that's, like, pro probably, like, like, WWE, but it's not really a different alternative, like, just like fucking WWE, but not really WWE, if you think about it. And besides, like, other companies, like, are the same shit, because, like, you're fucking same types of wrestlers, and WWE's just, you know, oh, WWE's bad, but it's, like, the same type of wrestlers, you know? If not more worse, and more of the same shit. Wrestling, <sighs> what I'm basically trying to say, oh, again, like, yeah, Cody Rose is the fight, vice president and shit. Who, like, again, he's nothing like his fucking father, ladies and gentlemen, let's be fucking honest. Nothing like his fucking father, and no, not entertaining, never been entertaining his life. But, again, you want all the sparky people, so because he's Dusty's son and shit. Dusty was good. Cody's not, let's be fucking honest, okay? He was lame. Oh, what is this fucking mirror? Like, what, y'all like dashing Cody Rhodes? You'll fucking faggots. Y'all love to see men shaving their legs and shit, and fucking, you'll oh, stardust. Y'all love probably stardust too, right? And you want to, you love the Young Bucks, you like to ruin fucking Shawn Michaels' finisher with that sippy kick, sippy kick, fucking doing super kicks all the fucking time and shitty fucking spots. Give me a break, and these pursuit of five star fucking garbage. Like, nah, it's fucking garbage, man. You know? So, if you want, like, honestly, that's my fucking thoughts, like, of AEW. I, like, I know, also in general, honestly, like, fucking, their pay per views aren't really that great. No, like, you really don't. Like, honestly, I think, honestly, people, it's just overhyped indie trash, really. It's lame. It's fucking, <laughs> that's just, I'm just being honest, people. It's fucking, it is. How the hell are you going to get fucking viewers? You're not going to probably do. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. It's just how I see it. And that's how, unfortunately, like, actual wrestling fans, not these fucking weirdos think of it. It's just a like, typical fucking smarty shit to like, you know? It's lame and nerdy. <laughs> Straight up. Um... I'm just kidding, yeah, and yeah, shout out to WG, like, because, like, yeah, he, I know he did his video, but that's because, uh, ironically, yeah, they fucking, when I fucking wanted to do this video, because, like, Cody Rose for Gazi, he was talking about casuals and shit, and I saw that article on Facebook, and, like, why not fucking talk about it, and ironically, WG did his own video, and I saw his video, too, but, yeah, I, I, it, which led to all this happening and stuff like that, but, you know, hey, God bless WJ, you can watch this video, too, um, and yeah, basically, you know, people speak the truth, really. But like, it's just, it is. It's not me because, oh, you're you're so smart yourself. But the thing is, at least I use fucking like I'm not fucking smart. I actually use fucking logic because again, like fucking what I'm saying, it, it helped. What it was like fucking based on facts. You know what made wrestling what it was today? Like fucking what made wrestling good? You know, you need characters and shit. It's not it's not fucking supposed to be real. It's not fucking. It's a fucking. It's fake. It's a TV show. You need to be a good TV show. Oh, it's, it was wrestling. Yes, it's a fucking wrestling TV show, ladies and gentlemen. Based on wrestling, but you gotta do characters and shit. Well, it's it's gonna be like a fucking, you know, whatever. That's what I mean. That's all I really have to say, people. I'm just keeping real motherfucking WWE be muscles. Gotta be gabs. Gotta be black couch. So fuck your bitch motherfucking couch. And drink this on the wine. I'm just keeping it real, you know?
That's all I'm gonna say. I, I, just to, as far as I've known, I don't know if I'll fuck bitches beat by a couch while locking this shit. I don't think you need to fuck. If you wanna be a good wrestling show, you gotta make fucking bitches. You gotta make fucking. You gotta be good for making bitches fuck you in a big black couch. Or not fuck you, but you gotta be, you gotta be good for a bitch to let you fuck her in a big black couch. That's what I have to say. If a fucking show is not, it fucking, it's, it's not good stuff, you know? Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I'll be back. I gotta think of something. Like, it, it gotta be entertaining. Y'all gotta be entertaining. You're on a TV show, you know? Um... That'll be entertaining. How the hell are you gonna get viewers and shit? It's like you gotta have fucking wrestlers can draw too and stuff. And also about like oh you know the only two wrestlers that I like that so far they have really are, are fucking Chris Jericho and fucking John Moxley. Just because yeah he was in WWE but like you know at least he kind of seems like you know he's actually doing much better. Like and I give I would give them credit with fucking AEW they're doing something with John Moxley or Dean Ambrose whatever the heck. Those are honestly the two guys like I'm only c care about at the moment, and yeah, I do think uh, uh, fucking the first champ should be Chris Jericho, said because he is the biggest star they have. You need to have, you have a big star to be champ first. Honestly, you should, he's like the only guy you have really to be champion. Really, sadly, that's just how it is, people. So you should be the first champion, and yeah, by the time t TV deal, it's gonna be in the first week of October. We'll see what happens. I will try to well, I will try to watch the first show and do a review on it. Um, Wednesday Night Dynamite, that's what's going to be called. We'll have to wait and see, but at the moment, I don't, I'm not saying, but like, you know. Let's hope for the best, sorry. But that's all I really have to say, people. Alright, till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. Not trying to be negative, but it just it's just how I see it, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so I honestly, at the moment, AEW is just really the smarkiest shit. You know, it's just fucking gay, lame and nerdy, and I don't think. Especially based on the pay-per-views. It doesn't look like a good sign. So yeah, till next time guys, peace, yeah bye.